the Skura Mezzo High Intensity Tournament. Round one rolls on. Welcome to Wednesday night. Welcome to the tournament. We've got four great matches for you here in Honolulu, Hawaii, baby. That's right, we're hiding from the beaches indoors. And first up, look at this, a two-man over-the-top battle royale. I'm being told it's two of the biggest, heaviest hitters from the Blood Bowl tabletop scene. Let's go to ringside, and there he is, k Fog himself. And uh, I got Tarsus by my side for commentary. Tarsus, say hello. Hola. All right, Tarsus, look at this. Big Kev, primetime Kev, dancing his way to the ring. Doesn't have his tag team partner from Downs Downs Revolution, but he is here tonight for this over-the-top battle royale. This is going to be something. Never seen a match like this. Two men in the ring, one man goes over the top, and that's it. That's the match. Let's see how they can hang on. I'm being told we have a surprise debut for his opponent, another Big, bad, heavy hitter from the tabletop Blood Bowl world. Who's it going to be? I, th I think I've got a good idea who it is. <laughs> I think everyone does, but let's go to ringside and find out. Here he comes. And sure enough, there he is. It is Purple Chest himself. He's walking out. He's got a guitar. I guess he's a musician now. They say he's the uh, the man of the hour in terms of commentary. I've got a thing or two to say about that, but I'm not going to argue that I don't have even half the sexy voice that that man has. You can deal with my nasally New England accent all you want, but Purple Chest is a man with a silver tongue, and boy, do you want him to tongue you if you ever get the chance, folks. See. <laughs> All right, let's see what Purple Chest can bring to the 2K19 universe. Wrestling is a lot different. Oh, look at that. He is geared up under all that suit. He is here for a fight, and it is on primetime, Kev. Purple Chest, and look at this. Wow, big scoop slam coming. No countered by, oh, he uses his own weight against him into a tombstone pile driver. And already Purple Chest introduced to the Skirmetto High Intensity Tournament. And now the big boots are flying. These big men are going to break this ring, trying to get one of them over the top rope. Oh, look at this. There's a huge scoop slam. Gets a couple feet of elevation with it, too. Incredible power from PTK. Absolutely, Tarsus. And look at this, an STO. That is a, uh, that is a nice submission maneuver to throw in. Of course, no submissions here, no pinfalls. No DQs. The only way to win is to toss him over the ropes. Oh, no. <laughs> Can't get him up for another scoop slam and dropped on his ass there. PTK. This one, as they say in the business, Jim, is a hoss fight. It is indeed. I'm Tarsus. <laughs> damn. Damn it. I, I did it once. Oh, and look at that. That jackknife into another STO there. <laughs> See... Well, Ansi, it, it, it is going longer than you thought, but it is shit. So, it's shit. We have magical a magical program, and it's uh, it's it's incredible. I don't know what Jim's talk or Tarsus is talking about, but I do know one <laughs> thing: neither of these guys is just going to willy nilly let himself get thrown over the top rope. And I've got to believe that these two guys are in it to win it tonight. Anyone going over that top rope? They are out of the shit tournament, and that's going to be a heartbreaker, both for a guy like PTK, who really has been a fixture of the two heads tag division in JFW, but never at the top of it and never explored a solo career. And on the other side, this is Purple Chest's wrestling debut, stepping out of the Blood Bowl scene to come here. He wants to impress. He wants to go deep in the shit, baby. <laughs> See? <laughs> Oh, going for that choke slam, but no elbowing out of it. And missing with the big boot into that side slam there. Oh, no, the fallaway slam by PTK stays on top of things. Oh, man. Pretty dominating so far from PTK. Yeah, but PC not going away. Coming back with that huge lariat there and a counter there. Big back body drop. Got him up that time. 
Yeah, mustard isn't necessarily a color I'd uh, recommend for a six foot eight, you know, three hundred and fifty pound human. But uh, but it was one of the few colors we haven't explored yet in shit or the JFW. So I figured I'd give it a whirl for it. <laughs> oh God, little bats. <laughs> And now the rally by PC. He's on to no. Oh, look at that. Big shoulder ram. And then just like that, primetime Kev right back in the, th the thick of things here. And when I say thick, I mean, just look at those tree trunk legs of both of those men. That oh, is some meat on display. <laughs> no, no, Ancy. No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't change. I didn't change his body. To be fair, I, I thought I felt that was fine. Yeah. Oh, dear. <clears throat> oh, look at this! A camel clutch locked in. Ref looking to see if he wants to give up on this match, but that's not gonna do it in here, and uh, not gonna do it anyway because the only way to win this once again is to put him right over the top rope. Oh, this big bear hug. No, we can't get him up to really cinch it in. Oh, lays him out, though. No one's really trying to eliminate each other yet. Are they just focusing on wearing each other down? Yeah, yeah, you know, I, neither of these guys wants to play that dangerous line where they go towards those ropes just there because it's just one clothesline away from getting dumped out of the shit tournament. So they're keeping it squarely in the center of the ring right now. Very smart by both of them. Yeah, I mean, see. <laughs> oh, look at this look choke at this. slam. He could put him over. No, he doesn't put him over. Is uh, maybe asking a bit much, trying to choke slam a big guy <laughs> like PTK out. But now he's gonna lock in another camel clutch here, wear him down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna assume you're self-identifying as the uh, local pedo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, J5. I can see it go either way. Again, a mustard onesie is not is not the kind of clothing you would expect from uh, a local dad. <laughs> He's no Cam Newton, that's for sure. Oh, look at this dangerous move. No, he bounces the ropes, doesn't go off, and, and PTK able to hang on there. Oh, no. The self-rock bottom is in, though. <laughs> Yeah, I, that's I. I'm gonna have to agree with Jay. <laughs> I'm fighting over territory. Jesus. <laughs> it's like the sharks and the jets here. <laughs> oh, and he's got him up now for another slam. Oh, that fall away slam gets him over this time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And now Purple Chest just surveying the scene, trying to think what to do, puts that foot right into the lower back. Oh, now and again, just this brawl in the middle of the ring. Both these men not going anywhere near those ropes. They know better. And now locking in that d dangerous trapezius pinch. Oh, it's trapeze for PTK, isn't it? <laughs> it sure is, Jim. At Tarsus. Tarsus, yep, that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, PC. Oh, PC. PC, he's lining him up. Could this be it for prime time, Kev? The, oh, it, I think it is. I oh. think it's over. Huge tombstone. Prime time, Kev is down. And now PC <laughs> wor working the traps again. Yeah, getting his own back with a trap massage. <laughs> oh, big counter. Oh, and here we go. Dangerous moment there for Primetime Kev. A little bit weak on the ropes, but he fights his way out. Takes down PC. <laughs> and now another side slam. He <laughs> needs a fan <laughs> oh, And oh, no, the kick to the gut. And now, no, countered again. And both, they just collide with each other before <laughs> enveloped by primetime Kev. PC goes down. Oh, dear. 
And now mm -hmm. Primetime Kev having his way with Purple Chest. <laughs> Good thing about trying to eliminate him here. No, gets countered. A big back body drop. Yep. Yeah, yeah we call Fanny, them bum, Fanny are two bats. very different very different words in the US and the UK. Yeah. Literally opposites. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's not true. Opposite no. ends, I guess. Yeah. Oh, and here that big collision again. Oh no, can't get him up again. The weight, the uh the exhaustion setting in here on both these guys. Oof, huge stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bum bag in England rather than a fanny pack. Oh, coming for the choke Ooh. slam. He's up. He hits him. Choke slam on primetime Kevin. Now it's just a matter of getting him over to those ropes and dumping him out. Yeah, no, surely they've got to go for the elimination soon. They're, they're kicking out. Yeah, they're both being very careful about that. Those the edges of this ring, and you'd expect it. These are two very disciplined blood bowl coaches, and that's on display right now as these two hosses are colliding. Going, staying a good long way away from those ropes, not giving anyone an opportunity here. See. And now PC fighting to stay relevant here. Got countered by uh, Kev. And oh, now dangerous moment. Oh, he could have put him over, but he put him down instead. And he drops <laughs> the hammer there. Who <laughs> tosses him over across the Absolutely. ring? Absolutely, just the power on his oh, face. Look, look, look at this big gorilla <laughs> press, and he slams him there. PTK, the crowd, the crowd is getting excited. Oh, 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 this is a mistake. This is a mistake, G uh, Tarsus. Oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> what a display of agility by the big man. Must have learned that from Z Talk today and his tag partner. And now PTK is on top of things here. Sends him into the corner, and the end is nigh. No countered by Purple, oh. just no countered again. Oh, and he's and gone now, for oh, the elimination. Now he's got him up. He's got him up in the turnbuckles. Dangerous moment. Can Purple Chest find a way out of this? He's got it. Oh. No, he's got him. He's got him. He's got him, Tarsus. No! No, oh, he what doesn't! A shot. Oh, he saves himself last second with the punch, but no, PTK trying to stay on top of him. Can't do it. And now, oh boy! Oh. No, he counters him! Tosses him off, Jim! He tosses him off! <laughs> he did. Just like Jim, I and myself, Tarsus enjoy it when people get tossed <laughs> off. Oh, oh, is he gonna choke slam him out? He's already he's he's under the rope! The rope. Caught him under the rope there, but he did get the choke slam in. Yeah, he could not have eliminated him there. That was under the rope. <laughs> yep. And now here we go. I think we're just a close. No, he counters, oh. elbows him off, clothesline away. PTK thinking about it, trying to line it up. Yeah, Excuse surely me. he's just waiting really? for him here. Oh, he's, yeah, he's got to work that shoulder out a little bit to get it ready to hit him. <laughs> and PTK, the cerebral assassin himself, so targeted, so, so perfect with his placement. And he just inst <laughs> How he never saw it coming. He never <laughs> saw it coming. There's no way he could have seen it coming with that speed and alacrity by P PC. And surely now a huge mistake by primetime Kev. About to be tossed out. No! Counters! He's down. He's oh. got him on the ropes. Oh, he doesn't go over. He goes down again. The match continues. The match continues. Unbelievable. It's <laughs> a nice attack. <laughs> oh, and now PC, he's got to be on his last legs. He's taking a ton of damage, including all 350 pounds of primetime Kev from the top rope on that beautiful moonsault. Yeah, incredible. Oh, oh, here he goes, sending him into the ropes. No, he catches the leg, counters again, and now PC, he's got him on. He's he's got him on the ropes, Jim. Surely, Ooh. surely, this is this it. This could be it. Oh, he's got a bad grip on those ropes. He's going off. He's going off. No, he hangs Ooh. on. He hangs on. Last oh. ditch effort by PTK. Can he do it? He no, he's got him. K Fog has won it. Prime time, Kev, your winner over the top battle royale. Two man. Congratulations, Prime Time Kev. You have advanced.
Mm -hmm. Commiserations, Purple Chest. That was a hell of a showing. But let me tell you, there was only ever going to be one result in that match, and that was the first time the game got it right for me because I filmed like 14 of those. <laughs> <laughs> and so the first time I had the final two in a battle royale to send him over, that person got to win it. Glorious. <laughs> Holy shit. I'll talk about that one afterwards, because this one I'm very proud of. That took a lot of fucking doing. <laughs> well done, Gorilla. And, uh... Hello, Flippy Fuck. <laughs> Not a chump PC, there's no shame at all in losing to PTK. Well, from what I'm being told, we that's not the last we will see of Purple Chest in the ring at all, but certainly not in shit, as every single person in shit will compete at least one more time in a 30-man battle royale. But right now, here's the man of the hour, Muppet Pac-Man, former Plim Plom Pluserweight champion at JFW coming out for a last man standing match. Who's he gonna face? Nobody knows. This is gonna be something, Tarsus. Oh yeah, I can't wait. And yeah, Flicky Flack, it's not Jim's today, it's Tarsus. I know I do sound very similar to Jim's. And uh, Gorilla even calls me Jim by mistake because I do sound exactly like him. But I am actually about a foot taller and yeah, 100 I do, pounds I heavier. Do it on, I do it on purpose because the old meme of, uh, you know, Jim Tarsus looking the same, you know, it's that whole thing. Ah, oh, yes. <gasps> no! Oh my god, Jim Tarsus! <laughs> it's... He's here! The oh. current Plim Plom Pluserweight champion himself, Just Joe! <laughs> and he's going to war with Muppet Pac-Man! Stole the belt away from him, some people are saying. Mighty AF! Uh, the most recent... <laughs> <laughs> and the smile that launched the thousand fires or something. <laughs> he is here. Muppet Pac-Man has now attacked him twice since losing that belt. And I think Joe got his way into this tournament to say, you know what? I beat you once. It was on short notice. I'm going to do it again right now on short notice. And you can basically kiss my ass. Here he is, the Plum Plum Pluserweight champion himself. Just Joe. Oh boy. And he is Mighty AF. He sure is. The only Mighty AF member, to my knowledge, to enter this tournament. I believe the ink was signed on his contract for shit before Mighty AF really took off as this force that clearly Scaramezzo has locked in as being bad for the JFW and bad for wrestling. And uh, you can't really blame him in that case, but I'm not going to pick a fight on that one. You saw what happened Monday night. You saw what's been happening. I'm sure Mr. Jim McMahon at some point will have to address it. He's been staying quiet about it. But right now, one of his men is in this tournament, and you got to believe Mr. Jim McMahon is sitting in his mansion somewhere or on his plane with the uh, incapacitated Jimmy Minmax-tastic <laughs> watching this match, waiting and hoping for just Joe to rise through the tournament and put shit on notice. <laughs> yeah. Interesting that he signed a contract with ink on shit. <laughs> oh, that now was here my we favorite go. part of all of that. Last man standing match. You gotta beat your opponent down and he can't answer a 10 count. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's quite the quite the match, isn't it? Oh, look at that! Nice counter out and reversal by Just Joe, and now he's got he's got a bit of a size advantage, even though they're both plim plum pluserweights. But again, Muppet Pac-Man, very well known for handling large men very well and very effectively. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep, he's got those uh, those snakes I come in handy. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, you know what, J5? I'm guessing I saved you a lot of pain in that respect. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. I am fucking good at what I do. <laughs> oh. oh, huge DD. The match for what? What match are you talking about, Lean Gareth? Uh, last man standing, I guess. No. <laughs> 
Well, I am getting word that Lean Guerra's shit debut is next, coming after this match. What kind of match will it be? Who's he going to face? You'll have to wait to see. But right now, we're going to see two of the very best Plim Plum Pluserweights of all time try to beat each other into absolutely a bloody pulp that cannot. I don't know why he's trying to pin him there or why the ref's counting it. Whoops. No. Must have, for must have forgotten about that one. <laughs> That was quite bizarre, wasn't it? Yep, sure is. Oh. And the counter on by Muppet Pac-Man. Yeah, I realize now. I yeah, you know what? There might be a. I guess he. I guess the ref could do a ten count on the on the pinfall. There's nothing wrong with pinning someone for ten seconds. Oh, and here it comes though. The six one nine. And he sticks it. Haven't seen that in a while. Nice to see it. And he hits the big landing. And now Muppet Pac-Man might consider trying to hold him down for 10 seconds if he needs to. Because there's no reason to just stand there watching him. You might as well try and pin him and keep him down. Yeah, if that's allowed, yeah. Why yeah, not? I mean, sure. It's a, As long as they can't get their shoulders off the mat for a 10 count, that's last man standing in my books. And certainly not a fault of whoever uh, edited this and forgot that there might be pinfalls <laughs> in this part of the match. Yes. <laughs> yes, that I, would be that would be substandard. <laughs> I clocked exactly what was happening there, Gru. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Count points. Jesus, Jesus. Oh man, Jeff. I, I can't. <laughs> I think. I think. I think you meant Cowboys and Washington football teams. Yes. Right. Let's. Let's. <laughs> let's please. Oh, we'll just get along. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be good. Oh, there's that side Russian leg sweep. The action outside of the ring right now. Just Joe working over Muppet Pac-Man. Oh, smashes him into the turnbuckle. Not, he, no, it's he not sure the does, Tarsus. Oh, two times. Will he go for the hat trick here? Nope. Big elbow. And more. Look at this combination, but yeah. just your answers straight back. Oh, nice counter into that standing coup de gras by Muppet. Yeah, yeah well, you can't use the C word anymore either, J5. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just call them uh, bastards and robbers. I think is that uh, that's the uh, proper way to address that uh, oh, that type of game anymore. <laughs> anyway, back to the end of the ring. Sorry, Jim, that one's on me. <laughs> 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 and uh, these two do not want to get in the ring. Thankfully, whoever <laughs> filmed this didn't didn't forget to de delete countouts. <laughs> And now Muppet finally getting back in the ring here. Doesn't know what to do to this guy. Seems like they just brawled outside the ring. What else? He's not keeping him down long enough. Ref not even bothering to count yet. Ooh. Ooh. No, he counters him. Oh, he's got him for another 619. Will he hit it? Boom. He, he's got the first part. Now will he stick the landing? He does. Ooh. Just like me. <laughs> And he's going to hold him down for that 10 count again. And no, he only gets him for two. <laughs> and now, oh, he's thinking he's going to have to go high impact here. Top rope Muppet Pac-Man. Oh, the oh he up. finds the knees. Beautiful frog splash, but it does not connect. And oh, let's see that again. Yeah, real bad impact there by oh, Muppet Pac-Man. He seems to have recovered a bit. And he's, oh no, Joe dumps him on his face there. That definitely was an attack on Joe. <laughs> this is a stupid looking one. And now, oh, the ref thinks Muppet might be down. Oh, he is, yeah. It really took him out of him, that air. Uh, oh. Yeah, knees, I mean, that's a that's a long way to fall right onto some knees. What, <laughs> what do you mean, J5? They're to show you action that just happened eight seconds before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, J5. Pay no attention to the man behind the veil. <laughs> this is episode three, isn't it? 
This sure is episode three. I don't know what J5 watched four <laughs> weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this could be it. Muppet it down. Seven count here. Eight. Oh, no, he's up oh, at eight. Oh. He's up at eight. And a lot of times you'll see in these last man standing matches, the ref will count to eight almost immediately, like five times, and it's really unfun to watch. So whatever's going on with these two, I am very thankful that that's not the kind of match we're getting. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised uh, Joe didn't try to hold him down then. That might have been no. Oh, idea. Joe going top rope here. Oh, miss oh, he misses the leg drop, and now Muppet. He's up. Can he get something going here? He's been a little bit dazed. He's going to hang him on those ropes, throw him back in. Surely that's not going to be enough to keep him down. Ref thinks it might be. Yeah, sure he's got Wouldn't it be weird him, if the match ended this way, Jim? It would be really weird, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Surely not. No, I'm going to guess he's going to get up the second he says eight. Oh, hey, there it is. What do you know? <laughs> oh. No, this and is it. The fireman slam. Oh, he counters it. No. Counters out of it, drops him on his back, and that could be it. Joe already very dazed from that dangerous uh, rope throw in. And <laughs> now this. Yeah, big DDT. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, Fancy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's an eight count. He's not up. Oh, this is nine. it, Jim. It's oh. it. No, he's up at nine. And Muppet Ooh. instantly in with those kicks. But Joe able to recover, sends him into the ropes. Ooh. And countered again. Oh, Jim, hey, you got a Netflix reminder there. Yeah, it's it's not a genuine one. <laughs> okay. I don't. Oh, yeah, that's right. It doesn't show up on your stream. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's also and not that, genuine. Someone's either signed up with my email and like, or it's a false company. Oh dear. Oh yeah, the, the <laughs> that's all for the ref to count it. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Muppet back up at a count of eight, and look at this. Oh, he's oh, going the for the triplete. Yeah, absolutely. He's got two. Can he get three? This could be it, Joe. Or J the Tarsus. Tarsus, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> This could be it for Joe, is what I was trying to say, Tarsus. <laughs> and I think Joe's down for the count here. He could, he could well be. <laughs> A feral French mind. <laughs> yeah, it's great, isn't it? The uh, the shit outfit on him. Oh! Oh no, he's back up on his feet. And it'll you know, countered again by Muppet, who's got the stamina right now. And he look at this maneuver, sending Ooh. him right down onto the mat. Ref's gonna start counting again. Two, three, four, five, six. I think he might stand up when he gets to eight. I think it's going to be a nine count, personally. Oh. There's nine. This is it. Oh, I think it's it. It is it. He's got him. He got him with that final maneuver. Muppet Pac-Man has defeated the Flim Plum Pluserweight Champion. Shit victorious over Mighty AF once again. Who could have seen that coming? Unbelievable. Well, not me. <laughs> yeah, me either. Shit with a big win tonight. Muppet Pac-Man advances. Joe goes back to JFW with his title and, you know, everything else he's got. <laughs> but with a loss to the monobrow table. <laughs> the monochrome monobrow. <laughs> Absolutely. And who will Muppet Pac-Man face round two? I can't wait to find out. Should be, should be epic. See? All right, and next, oop, I forgot to change that. Next up, we have a ladder match, folks. That's oh. uh, Hawaiian there. Last man standing is lad is Hawaiian for ladder match, and here he comes, the cowboy Lean Guerra. Oh. 
dear. It looks like Sting, but don't let that fool you. It's not Sting. I I legitimately thought about taking a close up of his face and just hovering it over Sting's face. That'd be awesome. It would have been, but it would have been a little bit too much. I I cut this all together last night at like three a.m. Oh, right, fair enough. Hence, yeah. hence some of the miscues. <laughs> it's still awesome. Yeah, Absolutely maybe, not. maybe in the, if if he advances J five, maybe I will. <laughs> but who's he gonna face? We have a ladder match. Uh, you know, Lean Guerra as part of the as part of the uh, two heads uh, division on JFW. Uh, no stranger to these ladder and TLC matches. He's been in a fair few with his partner, the Country Wizard Oriolensis. <laughs> but he's on his own tonight. Not quite the main event, Lean Guerra, but main event for you, I understand. <laughs> yeah. See? <laughs> oh my goodness, and that's the former, another former Plim Plom Flooserweight champion. Ghoul face killer is in the house. Oh, Here he man. comes. You gotta think he's got an advantage in a ladder match. He is a high flyer. He is a death defier. And he is on something fun right now. Here he comes. It's Ghoul face killer. It's Lean Guerra. It's shit round one ladder match. Who's going around to? Oh, yeah. GFK. Two GFW uh, he's... superstars. Yeah, absolutely. Both of these guys coming over from JFW to make their names known. See? <laughs> Battle of the silly hats, yeah. Maybe he wants to recruit him to dance hats. <laughs> Maybe. You know, a lot of factions seem to be forming up in JFW. <laughs> that would be a hell of one. A lot of former gold champions uh, in that one. Look at that smile. It's no just Joe, but it'll do. He is here. We have a ladder match on display. Let's get to it. Yeah. Bell got a little confused there. <laughs> and right off the get-go... Ghoulface Killer using his speed to tie up and confuse Lean Guerra, but coming back with some uh, some fast power by Lean Guerra. Nope. Oh. But yeah, he's going to have to find a way to slow down Ghoulface Killer. Right, this is going to be over before it even begins. I'm going to make a lot of noise trying to kill this fly. Pardon me. <laughs> Ow! Fuck. Nope, I didn't do it. Punch my monitor. <laughs> Gorilla losing a fight against a fly there. <laughs> Not a Jeff Goldblum I, size. I don't know why I said ow. I didn't. I didn't actually hurt myself, but I hit my monitor and it flashed. Yeah, so I said I do ow. That. I do that. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> no, thank you, Night Demon. <laughs> oh, <I get it. laughs> oh, look at this, Ghoulface. Oh, I thought he was setting up for a suicide dive. Yeah, sort of that. Not the case. No, instead he's just gonna miss grabbing him, a prone man. <laughs> Calls for it to the face and gets it. Oh! Oh! A lot of a lot of miscues here. I think these guys are looking up the ladders and they need to be looking across the ring right now. A wild attack from Lean Gary. <laughs> yep. That was like that was like late two thousands Clint Eastwood, not like fifties, sixties Clint Eastwood. <laughs> trying to battle a fucking empty chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oof. Ooh, really attacking that knee. Just trying yeah. to oh, stop him being for, able oh, to no, climb no. up the ladder. <laughs> I thought we were gonna see I thought we were gonna see Lean Guerra doing some top rope. I didn't even know what he could do, but now he's just celebrating himself a little bit there. Mm. And now back in with some chops. A nice takedown by Lean Guerra and misses again. Oh boy. <laughs> and now gets that weird uh, kind of springy rock bottom. Mm. The 
kitchen but sink knee there. Fires Ooh, back sink. with those knees. Ooh. Oh, missed again. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, and, and then he made El Camino. Oh, okay. oh. All right, these two guys not going for the ladders yet. Pretty deep in the match. But they're just going after each other right now. Oh, nice snapmare takedown. And now Liam Guerra trying to desperately control, slow down Ghoulface Killer. That's his only path to uh, path to victory here, I think. And working those knees over again. Yeah, you're right, Tars. It's going to make it hard to elevate those ladders, climb up those ladders and get to that shit briefcase up top. Absolutely. And uh, J5, C. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you did mean Gran oh, Torino. Oh, yeah, I Liam did. Gary. Yeah, I did mean Gran. You're right. I did mean. Gran I was thinking to myself, Torino. wow, really? <laughs> Eastwood directed no. Del Camino. <laughs> no, 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 I meant, I meant, I meant Green Torino. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> yeah, get, get, getting over his racism, but also just using every single right winger's fear of brown people as an actual fact. <laughs> like, it's not the best. But here we go. Ghoulface. Oh, nice DDT. Ghoulface, there is a ladder in the ring now. Not set up yet. Haven't seen it come into too much play here. Will Ghoulface go to get it up there? Nope, not yet. Misses in the splash in the corner and countered again. Ghoulface just all over Lean Guerra right now. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's more how I would probably describe it. Purple chest. Yeah, I thought it was a good but movie. But no, hey, though. it's actually, it is a good, I will, I will, that being said, it's a pretty good movie. <laughs> oh, Lean Guerra, now he, or sorry, Ghoulface is setting up that ladder now. Yeah. But, uh, uh, Lean Guerra, oh, no, no, beautiful, kips himself up and throws him down. And now he's climbing up, he's oh. going for the briefcase. Here it comes. No, he's not. No. He's not. Oh, my God. Top of the ladder. Moonsault hits him. Now all he's got to do is climb up. Surely, Lean Gurr has got to be down for the count on that one. <laughs> Whoa. Goldface might, might regret a little bit of that showmanship. Could have had a real <laughs> shot at the briefcase there. Didn't go for it. And now Lean Gurr is somehow recovering. And, oh, what's what's coming here? Big power bomb? Whoa, Big yeah. power bomb. <laughs> oh, he sends him into the ladder. Oh, oh now it now the ladder gets kicked down uh, by that by that hurricane hurricane rana, whatever you want to call it. Hurricane hurricane rana. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, Lemon is good. You missed a two man over the top battle royale in which PTK was able to outlast and eliminate Purple Chest from the shit tournament. And then following that, and massive last man standing match between Muppet Pac-Man and his rival, Just Joe. Muppet Pac-Man victorious, he advances. And now Lean Guerra is just moments away from grabbing that briefcase. He's up, he's got it, he's got it. But here comes Ghoulface. He's gotta punch him off here. He's gotta fist him, Jim. He's gotta fist him good. Fist him. He's fist trying so hard. He's fisting him. Fist him fist. harder, Ghoulface. Fist him. Fist no, him. he's giving up fisting him. It's over. It's over. He's not doing anything. Oh, no, he's, he's climbing now. No, he's climbed up. He's in. He's punching him. Oh, there's punches. They're trading punches back and forth here. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh whoever falls off this ladder, you got to believe, is going to fall out of this tournament. Oh, and he slams his head. Oh, oh he's no. busted him oh, open. Oh, Guerra busted open. He's got to be moments away from falling. This has got to be it. He's going to have to dig deep here. Ghoulface Killa is all <laughs> over him. No, the last minute jab there. Oh, this is incredible. Punches back and forth. They're just hanging on. Lean Guerra grabs him, slams his head into the... Oh, fire. he's tossed him off. Lean Guerra tossed, tossed off Ghoulface, <laughs> and he's got his hands on the briefcase. Can he do it? Can he do it? Are we going to stand here for 18 seconds while he tries to do it? No, he's got it. Lean Guerra <laughs> is your winner. 
and he oh, has got so that empty ship briefcase, and he is advancing to round two. Incredible. <laughs> shh, lemon, shh. Dude, ladder matches fucking suck, man. They're not. They're not. They're not good for this kind of thing. When you want an, <laughs> when you want an exciting match, I picked some really hard ones. Mm -hmm. All right, here's your main event, and now I got some reservations about this one. Extreme Rules. It's Fant Fox versus McNaughton. We know that this is this is announced. We saw exactly what happened last week <laughs> in a, in a, in a uh, in an Extreme Rules match with Fant Fox coming out and helping Lemon is good. Surely the th the same thing is gonna happen here, Jim. I I am just. I don't know if I want to see lightning strike twice, but I I don't think it's going to be a good night for McNaughton. No, no, it's, uh, it's the odds are stacked against him, aren't they? And you know what? We asked we you know we asked you and uh, we asked you and Skuro about that, and they said, hey, you know what? Them's the breaks. You play by you play by the book and in, in shit, and that is technically by the book. If you want to be that dirty player, fair enough. But you're going to make some enemies, so we'll see what's going to happen here. But McNaughton's got to know he is walking into basically a handicap match right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and see, that's, that's absolutely debilitating for McNaughton, isn't it? What a, this is a massive handicap for him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's air conditioning in there. Yeah, still, it doesn't matter. <laughs> anywhere, anywhere south of Alaska is going to be a struggle for McNaughton. <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> <laughs> and there he is Fant Fox himself he is in his shit regalia he has gone <laughs> full on shit but he's got a big match ahead of him tonight and he, if he can win in the main event he will advance to round two <laughs> amazing yeah I was on for the green boots as well <laughs> glorious <laughs> I think that's why that, that it was a rumble wasn't it and that's why that, that was when it crashed I think that's maybe yeah it yeah it was definitely on its way out when that happened <laughs> we do not hope for the green boots here even though this is pre-recorded <laughs> looks like looks like McNaughton is drinking the Kool-Aid and shit too <laughs> That's brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> and he is all over Fan Fox early here, and big neck crank right off the get go. <laughs> Oof. Oh, and here it comes. There's Lemon's music. McNaughton knows it, and there's Lemon is good. This is going to happen again. Oh, We're man. stuck with this bullshit, unfortunately. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh. That's girl. He's got a he's got a sledgehammer and he just leveled Lemon is good. He's got Lemon is good in round two. He doesn't have any love lost for them. He's going after him on the stage up there. Look at this. He is annihilating Lemon is good right now. Glorious. He's softening him up for a few weeks for his match, apparently. Hey, Skuro said it's all fun and games. You play by the books. That's what's gonna happen. And he is just taking it to Lemon is good right now. Oh man, incredible. I am, absolutely. We're gonna try and follow all this action. Oh no, Skrull sent off the ape. I mean it looks like they're it looks like they're heading backstage, Jim. It looks like Lemon is pursuing him backstage. We'll try and get cameras out there, but back into the ring here. We've got an even match between Fant Fox and McNaughton. And there we go, we've caught up to them. Skurro dragging them through the hallways. They're sending him into the wall and just beating off beating him off. Beating him off. <laughs> Just beating him off. Back in the ring here, though. Nice neck breaker there by Fanfox. He's got a chair, and he oh, that chair gets introduced to his midsection, and Fanfox doesn't think he needs it anymore. He's going right back <laughs> after McNaughton. Oh, slaps him in the face. Thank you, Lean Gara. Oh no, but now Lemon is good. Back on top here. DDT onto the 40 feet of concrete. That's how deep they have to make it in Hawaii. <laughs> and now that jumping clothesline, he's taking him down. Oh, boy. 
He's incredible. Oh, he sends him. Oh, throws him through that walling, but no Skuro counters and dumps him over. Big back body drop. And then a power bomb in back in the ring here. And here's a pinfall attempt by McNaughton. This could be it. Oh, boy. Whew, this is incredible, isn't it? Ah, <laughs> uh, sure is. Don't this is the me. kind of quality that shit promised and they have delivered on week in, week out. The only place you can find it is here <laughs> on Twitch. Xbox. Jimmy Fantastic stream for some weird reason. <laughs> and that's every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. UTC. Let's head back backstage. And they are still going at it, folks, sending each other back and forth into the walls, punching and kicking. <laughs> <laughs> that fight might, might not end until a few weeks from now when they next meet. Yeah. Hola, uh, Goliath. And uh, no, Lil Vaz, he's wearing a, he's wearing a kilt, so uh, no pants. <laughs> oh, he sends him into that into that table there. <laughs> and now Skuro. Oh, well, I don't have, we're going to have to get back into the ring here. A uh, chin lock here by FanFox dominating our attention, it looks like. <laughs> table yes that table didn't get broken but got used Van Fox really taking it to McNaughton in the corner it's got to feel pretty bad his plan with Lemon is Good didn't work but he's a fantastic wrestler on his own he still has a very good shot at winning this but he's gonna have to get through the angry Scotsman who's setting him up for that dropping power yeah, pile driver deep fried pile driver yep and he's going top rope he loves that elbow from the top row. Maybe a, uh, it looks like he's uh, letting him stand up here. So, yeah, he's going to do the double axe handle, maybe. Oh. No, he's not going to do anything. He's going to get countered <laughs> and dropped, dropped on his unprotected bits. And now Lemon, all oh, the big flex by Lemon. He knows he's in charge. And here's back to Skuro now. Pump handles, uh, shoulder breaker coming. Oh, he's got geez. him down and he's throttling him. Oh, oh. oh no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, we've seen that. We've seen that in matches before. Lemon's head just slammed against the floor. That might be it for the two of them. We're going to have to get some medics back there to find out. But we're going to stay here in the ring. Ooh, that might be too much for TV right now. So let's <laughs> let's keep it uh let's keep it let's keep it PG here. <laughs> for this episode of shit. <laughs> <It's in PG. laughs> <laughs> oh, <dear me. laughs> and McNaughton now yanking on that neck and now he's going top rope once again here hopefully it'll work out better for him than last time nope well maybe no oh, yep, drop, drops the elbow from top rope there he nails him Oh, and he dumps him outside of the ring, and now McNaughton is fired up. He's got a chance to win this. Lemon is good, completely, completely isolated backstage, and now he's just got he's got one man to beat, and he's going around two. See, oh, huge move from McNaughty. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Tarsus, look at these two going at it. Oh, there's that spine buster. Loves that spine buster. Usually follows it up with a rock bottom. He does. But he, he needs to get him in the ring for the pinfall here. Oh. oh spikes his elbow right into his head. And now he's going to. This is uh, Lemon's favorite move, but uh, Fan Fox goes to it sometimes. A little judo flip there. Tossing him off and back out of the ring rolls McNaughton. Oh, the crab. Oh, the crab walk. You know it's over when the crab walk comes in <laughs> as he gets instantly punched in the face by the angry Scotsman. <laughs> oh, he went for the rock bottom, but it was countered. Yeah, counters the rock bottom. That's a dangerous place to have to take one of those. Oh, he kicks oh, the, the super face. kick, though. Sweet chin music. Unbelievable. The super cook. <laughs> <laughs> and McNaughton is in charge after landing that kick. Oh, he busts it him open. He slammed his head into the hardest part of the ring, and now Mc, or, uh, Fan Fox is bleeding from the forehead, but he knees his way out of that suplex. Oh, man. He 
incredible stuff. Cannot get enough going. Oh no! DDT's him right onto the pavement. <laughs> and sends him back in the ring, and I think the end is nigh for one of these two. They're gonna have to put it away quick though, Tarsus. They are and indeed, I, Gorilla. They, yeah, Fan Fox knows it. Big oh. elbow drop coming or uh clothesline coming. Two misses with the punch, and here's that third, that leaping clothesline. And surely we are just a rock bottom away. Oh, hey. a spine buster away, maybe. Yeah, this could no, be it, actually. Try, yeah, he's going to try and pin him off the spine buster. <gasps> this is, no, just a two count. McNaughton late kick out. <laughs> and now, oh, rope. Fanfox going top rope. Don't see this too often. <laughs> and, and that is why, folks, no one home as he dead drops on him. Fanfox bleeding from the forehead here. He's losing energy with every ounce of blood that comes out. And now McNaughton, oh, oh. inverted atomic drop, big scoop slam. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's already pixelated, little bass. Yeah, that's the that's the genius of it. <laughs> <coughs> oh, he hangs him up on those ropes. And McNaughton trying for the pinfall here. He might have him. He might. Oof. Oh, late two count kick out for Fan Fox. This match continues. Extreme rules. Winner of this advances in the tournament. Incredibly. Absolutely. Oh, oh there's the rock bottom. It's over. It's over. He's got him. He's just got to pin him. Here it is. One, two, three. Fan Fox has it. advanced, folks. Whoa. No, the kick out. Last second kick out by McNaughton. Fan Fox cannot believe it. What else does he have to do to end this thing? Unbelievable. Oh, he's going to try for that, uh, that shoulder wrench there. <laughs> Yeah, that's Fan Fox. So close. Oh no, he's going to, oh, going to the, the sharpshooter. Sharp he's going to the sharpshooter. He's got him weak. He's got him in the oh, middle of the, the ring here. Him. It is extreme rules, so there's no there's no rope breaks anyway. Oh, and he does, he taps! McNaughton is tapped! Fan Fox has won it with the sharpshooter! Congratulations, Fan Fox! Commiserations, McNaughton and Lemon, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> What a match. Fan Fox was looking for a cheap win, had to go the distance instead, but he was up to the task tonight, beating McNaughton, advancing to round two, and that is your main event for shit. What a night. Unbelievable stuff by all the competitors. Four more men have advanced in the tournament. Next week is our final four matches in round one of shit, and that's when things are going to start to get red hot and steamy in the shit tournament. My name is Gorilla Mezzo. Thank you so much for having me tonight, J uh, Tarsus. <laughs> I look forward to next week. Let's close out round one with a massive party. And that'll be next Wednesday night, 8 p.m. UTC. Camera cuts out for a minute, but it doesn't matter. That's the face of a shithead if I ever saw one. <laughs> Good night, everyone. And yes, thank you very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.